Hello and welcome to today's Belly Flop World Championship Exhibition Masterclass. My name is Simon, and I'm delighted to be joined today by none other than my longtime collaborator and belly flop extraordinaire, Andy Stoll. <laughs> yes, thank you for that marvelous introduction, Simon. I can't wait to tell you how fortunate I am, and these viewers are, oh. to work with such outstanding talent as yourself. Oh, Andy, you sure do know how to flatter someone. Oh, would you know it, it's about that time of night again, the time when boys cower and men falter. But legends come out to triumph. That's certainly right, Andy. Today's Exhibition Masterclass will teach anyone, and I mean anyone, how to do an excellent belly flop. In case you haven't heard of the world-renowned belly flopper Simone, here's a short clip of him competing at last year's international competition. <laughs> As our wonderful demonstrator, Simone, prepares poolside to unravel the secrets of the belly flopping world, let's give an overview of his general strategy to achieve greatness. Because Simone is one of the best in the world, we can trust his rock solid plan. If you don't trust us, we'll all have the chance to see his artistry at work in a few short moments. Today, Simone will first be showing us some common mistakes to avoid, then we'll progress to showing tips to make your belly flops even better. Now before we begin, you may be asking yourself, what things do I need in order to do a good belly flop? That's right. Take a close look at this list here and make sure you have access to all five of these critical items. Ladies and gentlemen, the exhibition is beginning. Let's have a look at what Simone has in store for us today. Wow. You may notice how he didn't fully commit on that jump. That's a killer when it comes to a good flop. On this jump, see how he slapped his arms? Mm. That's a natural instinct, but it breaks the water in front of his body and makes the flop much less impressive. And this is what's known as butt tucking in the belly flop world. Butt tucking may make a louder noise because the air trapped under his body, but notice how bent his body is when he enters the water. I have no idea what that was, but it certainly isn't something you want to emulate. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> I think he's tripped on the pool deck there. Always make sure that you're in a safe environment and are aware of your surroundings before attempting a belly flop. That's right. And here, you can see how Simone over-rotated, landing on his face more than his belly. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Don't flail, ladies and gentlemen. Flailing is never classy. Never. Now that was a beautiful spread eagle belly flop right there. Mm. Notice how he keeps all four of his limbs straight all the way until they hit the water simultaneously. Yes. Wow, that was an aggressive strategy known really? as really? the flying squirrel. In order to work, the jumper has to fully commit and pull back their ankles with their hands, exposing their soft undersides to the water. That was magnificent. He held his form rigid until he hit the water. And as a side note, this is probably one of the more painful belly flops to perform, so I'm sure Simone is really feeling the heat on his chest right now. For sure. Ah, the hands behind the head. Oh, here, you can see the marvelous limb extension. That was perfect on that flop. Notice how his entire torso hits the water at one time on one plane? That's an excellent flop. He goes for the plank. The plank requires a lot of mental control in order to keep your arms at your sides. Oh man, I can't imagine the pain on that. Ooh, yeah, he's got a bit red there. <laughs> he's got... <laughs> Boy, he'll be sunburned tomorrow. <laughs> what were some of your biggest takeaways from this session, Simon? Well... I think we learned a lot of things from this session. One, confidence is key in the world of belly flopping. Without it, your flop 
would be a flop. And number two, make sure you are doing belly flops in a safe area and in a smart manner. Number three, keep your body rigid and limbs extended all the way until you make contact with the water. Generally, don't move anything once you're airborne. Number four, keep in mind that it's easier to over-rotate than to under-rotate. So you have to be aware of your rotation when you're doing a belly flop. And lastly, commit. Committing is the most important part of a belly flop. No one wants to watch someone half commit and land painfully, ungracefully, and shamefully. Wow, what an action-packed belly flop world championship exhibition masterclass that was. Mm -hmm. We hope you have taken away lots of valuable information shown by the marvelous Simone. And now back to you, Simon, for the closing remarks. Why, thank you, Andy. First of all, I want to thank you, Andy, for being an excellent co-host for today's event. My Secondly, pleasure. I would like to thank all of you, the viewers. Uh, be sure to come back next year for our upcoming masterclass titled Belly Flops from the High Dive. <laughs> and that's all for tonight, folks. Thank you, and happy flopping. Thank you.